Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another OK Gaming video, and today we're gonna be covering how to play Mira. I'm gonna be making a hole A, and I'm gonna make sure that my Mira can see it, and then I'm gonna make hole B, both of which I can see through the mirror. Now, in this case, I'm using the mirror to play very offensively, so I can get kills through the mirror. So to make sure I can shoot through those holes, I make a kill hole right next to it. Now if you see, if you look through the kill hole, you can only see the holes and nobody else can see the kill hole unless they're looking through the holes. Now if I had another mirror, I would place it here if I didn't want to place it on that wall. Because this is also a good point. But since I don't, I'm going to place it here. Where I can see a huge amount of space, which is going to give... Uh, bigger advantage to my team because they're going to see more of where the enemy is coming from rather than that one choke point now I prefer to run the shield because you can place it down and keep twitch drones out because as Mira twitch drones are going to be your worst enemy they're going to be able to get in there easily and take out your drones so you're going to want to watch the door and make sure you shoot the drones if they try to come in. For Mira, I prefer to run the Vector and her mini shotgun. On her Vector, um, I like Holographic Sight, Compensator, Foregrip, and Laser Sight. Um, for Holographic Sight, I just prefer the Holographic Sight for most of my weapons um i only use acock on like my dmr not not even i use holographic states on my dmrs um there's just certain guns that just feel right with acog those are the ones i use it on red dot sight i don't understand why would you why you would use it on that gun reflex sight that's just your preference uh vertical grip i wouldn't understand why you wouldn't have it on there it's just less recoil um, the, I, w I would say compensator is the best barrel for such a fast firing weapon like this because then you're going to get even less recoil for how fast it fires. Um, laser sight is going to be good because you need to be able to hit fire at, at least. And, um, take a look at the skins. I like this one, but I like my Shaquilla better. Um, for the shotgun, the big shotgun, I like to have a reflex sight so I can see more when I'm not ADSing. Um, I don't really understand why would you have a red dot sight on it, but a holographic sight, I would have that on there too. But I would prefer the reflex sight for my shotguns. Um, of course, I'm going to have the laser sight to reduce spread. For the mini shotgun, um, I, like, I like no sight on it. And uh, I prefer the laser sight as well, so I can um, reduce the spread. And um, skins here, pretty nice. I like that one. So I end up buying it because it looks clean. Uh, for the pistol, I prefer to run a suppressor so I can shoot the drones and it'll be a lot quieter. Or if I down someone and the, and the, the their team doesn't know, then I can just shoot them with the pistol and it's going to be a lot quieter. 
Um, I don't really like the laser sight on pistols. I feel it's too revealing unless I'm using a shield, which if you're using a shield, I mean, you're basically just screaming them right here because of how loud they are. Which, if Ubisoft, you're watching this, please make Blitz a three-speed. Um, I like the deployable shield because it keeps out the twitch drones and, you know, cover and stuff like that. And the nitrosol, um, it's just a nitrosol. Like, there's nothing really too special about it. In this first game, um, the only thing I'm going to say about this is that my team sucks. I'm just going to leave it at that. My team is bad. I think they're all, like, level 14 and stuff like that. I don't know. I looked at a couple of their levels, and I saw level 14, level 13. I'm like, wow. I haven't seen that since I started the game. Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. Securing the container. One friendly operator remaining. They've ceased attempting. Op 4 is securing the biohazard container. All friendlies were eliminated. Mission failure.
So I sit here and I remain to make sure that nobody is progressing on the point. I try to make a little crawl hole so I can get out of here if I need to without being seen. Reload my shotgun and question what the smoke is doing. I get back in the room, make sure nobody's progressing on the objective. I look back at the top and notice there's fire. I realize it's fuse. Habana drops down and gets killed. And then Capital walks in from the side and I get an easy kill on him. No, I thought that Hibana was downed, and then I realized as soon as that fuse dropped, I wouldn't have the kill on him because a person was still watching that hatch. And so, we get into the next clip, again on the same map. We lost that uh, attacking round, and now we get into the last uh, defending round. Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. Now, I noticed down here that it's very good to put a mirror in that room and just kind of just like stake out in that room. So I place a mirror there in that room and I place my shield in there so the drones can get in there and I have more cover if you're trying to peek the rest of the OBJ. If you see that when I placed my mirror down on the seams it removes both of the seams of the uh, reinforcements. If you do this uh, you'll turn two reinforcements into one. This means Bandit can use one car battery to electrify that whole wall instead of having to use two. Right here I've noticed that this is a good spot to place my mirror so I make a kill hole. I also noticed that from my room I can see to the mirror. Make little kill holes right here just in case. Notice I'm using my mini shotgun very much for uh, tool-like purposes. Right here I'm just checking around making uh, sure to note what the enemy's progress has been. I'm waiting for this Ash to come in here. I didn't know what she was shooting at. I didn't realize that they didn't shoot the other camera. And once I do I switch over to it and scan her. See, then I notice there and I start scanning her so much that she comes off of her drone and shoots the camera. And then I notice that there's a breach in the garage. So then I go to watch down there to see if I can see anything and I notice there's a twitch and a cappy towel. I look above and I see Fuse roaming around and I want to make sure that he doesn't get any of his fuse charges off because that's going to be bad news. So I see that he's placing down his breach charge so I head over there to see if I can destroy the breach charge and maybe him. So I open up the hatch and he's still not there. I go to check on my drone and I see that he's just sitting there. I notice that the twitch is shocking me but I decided to try and go for the kill anyways. I open up the floor and get the kill on him. And then I finally have it with the twitch. I noticed that the Capitao was in the garage and he was progressing over. So I didn't want to close that door. As I was afraid of dying. So I wait. Make sure everything's clear. And then I go back over. And close off the door.
head back over to my mirror and watch the main entryway, forgetting that the hatch is open. And I find Capitao. I miss the mirror. I noticed that Capitao and Twitch are over there. So I open up the window. And I'm waiting for Capitao to come back over. I get a fast kill on him. And then I make sure to see where Twitch is. And so I'm peeking it and I see her and I get a quick buzz kill. To end the game. Alright guys, well that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. And um, just really comment how your day's going. I like to read the comments and uh, see how you guys are doing. So thanks for watching.